U.S. Citizenship Interview and Oath Ceremony Good morning. I'm here for my citizenship interview. What time is your interview appointment? 10.30 a.m. Now, it's just 9.30. You cannot enter the building right now. Please come back at 10.15. Thank you. See you later. Hi. I come back. Can I enter the office building? Good morning. Can I have your appointment letter and ID? Sure. Here you go. Okay. Please enter the building. Take your appointment letter and ID with you. Please take off your jacket. Make sure your pockets do not have any metal objects. Remove all electronic devices and put them all into the bin. Now, walk through the metal detector. Please make sure you take all your belongings with you to the second floor. Then check in at the customer service area on your left. Thank you. You're welcome. Good morning. How can I help you today? Good morning. I'm here for my citizenship interview. Can you show me your appointment letter and your ID, please? Yes, here you go. Thank you. Okay, I've got your information. Here's your appointment letter and ID. Please have a seat in the waiting area. We will call you once your appointment is ready. Thank you very much. No problem. Mr. Mateo Martinez? That's me. Hi, I'm Officer Mia. I'll be conducting your interview today. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you. Please follow me. Okay. Feel free to put your belongings next to your chair, but please remain standing. Before we begin the interview, I'll need to place you under oath. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes, I do. Please put your hand down and have a seat. Thank you. Can I see your lawful permanent resident card, all your passports, and state-issued ID? Sorry, officer. My passport expired a year ago. Is it okay? Yes, that's okay. Here you go.
Thank you. How long have you been waiting? Not too long. About 15 minutes. Did anyone accompany you here today? No. I came alone. Do you know why you are here today? I'm here for the citizenship interview. I want to become a U.S. citizen. That's great. Today, we'll first check and verify your N-400 form, then do the civics test and English reading and writing test. Do you have any questions before we start? Yes, I need to make a few changes since submitting my application form. Should I let you know now? Thanks for letting me know. I will go through the application form later when we get to that section. Please bring up the changes. I will, thank you. What is your current legal name? Mateo Martinez. Have you used any other names since birth? Yes, I went by the name of Matias when I was a kid. Okay. On your application, you indicate that you want to legally change your name. Do you still want to do that? Yes, I want to change my name to Mateo Martinez. Please write your new name on the sheet of paper. Okay, let me update that. What is your date of birth? August 8th, 1988. Were you born in Mexico? Yes, I was born in Mexico. Are you currently a citizen of Mexico? Yes, I am. How are you eligible to become a United States citizen? I am 35 years old, and I have been a lawful permanent resident for more than five years. When did you become a lawful permanent resident? I got my green card on April. 23rd, 2016. How did you acquire your green card? Through my family. Okay, please tell me your social security number. 675-32-3457. What is the best phone number to reach you at? 671-345-5787. What's your email address if we need to contact you? Mateo1988 at email.com. Where do you currently live? 7845-DE Priest. Avenue, Houston, Texas, 77088. How long have you been living at this address? I have been living there since July 2019. So you moved there after you submitted your application form, is that correct? Yes, it's correct. Can you update this form for me? Sure. I will update the application right now. One second, please. Thank you. 
Where do you receive mail? I receive mail at my living address. All right. Were your parents U.S. citizens before your 18th birthday? No. Is your mother a U.S. citizen? No, she isn't. Is your father a U.S. citizen? Yes, he is. Okay. Are you currently employed? Yes. What is the name of your work company? Texas State University. Great. What do you do for your company? I'm a programmer analyst. How long have you been working there? About three years. Where else have you worked in the past five years? I work in the state of Arizona. Okay. Have you ever traveled outside of the U.S. in the past five years? Yes, I have. How many trips have you taken in the past five years? Totally, I took three trips in the past five years. The last trip was taken after I submitted the application. What was the purpose of this trip? I visited my parents. When did you return to the United States? I returned on June 30th of 2022. Okay, let me update that. Did any of your trips last six months or longer? No, officer. How many total days did you spend outside the United States during the last five years? Total, 67 days. Okay. Are you currently single, married, widowed, or divorced? I'm married. On what date did you get married? May 9th, 2015. What is your spouse's full name? Emilia Lopez. What is your spouse's date of birth? July 2nd, 1989. What is your spouse's immigration status? She is a lawful permanent resident. What is your spouse's current job? She is an accountant. Has your wife ever had a previous marriage? No, she hasn't. Have you previously been married? No, this is my first marriage. I'm sorry, officer. I made an error at this section in N-400 application. I filled zero instead of one. Can you please correct it for me? No problem. I will correct it. Please show me your marriage certificate. Yes, here it is. Do you have any children? Yes, I have one child, a daughter. 
Where was she born? She was born in Mexico. What is her date of birth? January 1st, 2019. What is your child's relationship with you? I am the biological father of my daughter. Do you live together? Yes, we all live happily together. Great. Now we'll go over the next section. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? No, I haven't. Please just answer yes or no for me. Okay. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? No. Have you ever been a member of the Communist Party, any totalitarian party, or a terrorist organization? No. What is a terrorist organization? An organization that uses violent action for political or religious purposes. Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. Do you belong to any groups or organizations? No. Do you pay your taxes on time every year? Yes. Have you ever filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Yes, I file tax return every year since I came to the U.S. Have you ever been involved in any way with genocide? No. Could you explain what genocide is? Killing a group of people because of their religion or race. Have you ever gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? Sorry, officer. Could you please repeat the question a little slower? Okay. Have you ever gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? No. Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? No. Have you ever been a worker, volunteer, or soldier in a prison camp? No. Have you ever been in jail or prison? No. What is a jail or prison? A place where prisoners are kept. Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? No. Have you ever procured anyone for prostitution? No. Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No. 
Were you ever involved in not letting someone practice his or her religion? No. Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? No. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? No. What does mislead mean? To cause a person to believe something that is not true. Are you a male who lived in the United States at any time between your 18th and 26th birthdays? No. Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes. Could you explain what bear arms means? It means to own or use a gun to fight. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to help the government during a national emergency? Yes. Do you promise that everything you said is true? Yes, I promise. Great. Let's do the civics test. I'll ask you up to 10 questions, but you only need to answer six correctly to pass the test. Are you prepared for the civics test? Yes, officer. Okay, first question. What did the Declaration of Independence do? Said that the United States is free from Great Britain. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? The United States. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Because there are 50 states. What did Susan B. Anthony do? Fought for civil rights. When was the Constitution written? 1787. What is the economic system in the United States? Market economy. Wonderful! You got six correct and you passed the civics test. Let's move on to the English reading and writing test. Okay. Please look at the tablet in front of you and read the sentence out loud for me.
who lives in the White House. Correct. Now I am going to read you a sentence. Use the stylus pen to write the sentence down on the tablet for me. The president lives in the White House. The president lives in the White House. Great! You've passed the English reading and writing test also. Thank you. Since you have passed all the tests and met all the requirements, you have passed the interview today. Congratulations! Thank you so much. Please review the form on the tablet. If it is correct, please sign your name and write the date on the digital tablet. Okay. Everything is correct for me. Good. Please review the Oath of Allegiance and if you acknowledge your willingness and ability to take the oath. Then print your name, sign it, date at the bottom. Excellent! Congratulations, you passed the citizenship interview. Do you want to take the oath ceremony if it's available today? Yes, of course. That would be great. Okay, let me check with my associate and we'll let you know. Please remain seated. I'll be back in a few minutes. No problem. Great! We have an oath ceremony in 30 minutes. Please go to the third floor for the oath ceremony. Do you have any questions at this point? No. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Welcome everyone. This is the last step before we become a U.S. citizen. Before we start this ceremony, there are a few things I need you to know. First, please fill out the N-445 form and answer all eight questions. Then sign and date at the bottom. Second, you need to return your green card today. Third, when you receive your certificate, make sure to check for errors before you sign. If there's any error, notify us, and we will correct it for you. Also, you need to sign your certificate with black ink. Any other color will make it invalid. Now, I'm going to give you a written copy of the Oath of Allegiance. Thank you, officer. All right. Any questions? Are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Let's get started. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I hereby declare on oath that I absolutely and entirely I hereby declare on oath that I absolutely and entirely renounce and abjure all allegiance and fidelity renounce and abjure all allegiances and fidelity 
to any foreign prince, potentate, state, or sovereignty. To any foreign prince, potentate, state, sovereignty. Of whom or which I have heretofore been a subject or citizen. Of whom or which I have heretofore been a subject or citizen. That I will support and defend the Constitution. That I will support and defend the Constitution. And laws of the United States of America. And laws of the United States of America. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear arms on behalf of the United States. That I will bear arms on behalf of the United States. When required by law. When required by law. That I will perform non-combatant service in the armed forces. That I will perform non-combatant service in the armed forces. Of the United States when required by law. Of the United States when required by law. That I will perform work of national importance. That I will perform work of national importance. Under civilian direction when required by law. Under civilian direction when required by the law. And I take this obligation freely. And that I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, so help me God. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, so help me God. Congratulations, you are officially a U.S. citizen. Now, when I call your name, please come up and get your naturalization certificate. Mrs. Mateo Martin? Yes, I am here. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you and good luck everyone. Please subscribe to our channel for more.